Hello gaming world. Welcome to J Hud Gaming. I'm J Hud. If you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe. I would very much love to support. If you already subscribed, then please spread the word about this channel. Tell all your friends about this channel. I would very much love to support also. Let's get that word of mouth going and let's see if we can't try and help this channel grow even bigger than it already is. I would like to extend a big thank you and shout out to all my friends on the on the PSN who uh, decided to subscribe to my YouTube channel thank you so very much for doing so love you all you guys are awesome uh, you guys didn't have to do it uh, I just I just asked and, and some of you did it and for those of you who did thank you so very much you guys are awesome uh, if you guys like the video please leave a like down down below hit that like button nothing to it at all and with that out of the way guys let's get it started so I died once <laughs> I died once I, I, I thought about putting in a, a, a death scene where I failed one time during this part I failed 15 at least 20 times during this and uh, until I actually got it right, and what you're watching now is probably the the right version, the part where it's all flawless and uh, I didn't get spotted or killed. So yeah, but no, I died like 15, 20 times during this part. So what you're gonna want to do here is grab the grab a brick bottle, right? And you're gonna want to have to move whenever you're aiming it, and you. And you walk while, you know, while you have it aimed. You move at your slowest pace possible, so they won't be able to hear you at all. So, right then, I was moving the analog stick as far as as far as the controller would let me to push it forward. So it was it was, you know, I was pushing the controller analog stick pretty far. Um, if I didn't have the aim, uh, the aim button hold down, he could have heard me, but. Luckily, if you do that, you move at your slow speed. So, just do it that way. And uh, with this uh, final guy right here, what you're gonna want to have to do is, is just follow his movements. Just follow behind him. Don't. I know it's it's probably scary. You're, you're probably thinking, oh, he's gonna hear me. He's gonna hear me. No. No, Pete. He won't hear you. He he. Instead, he, he's gonna take a nap. He he's gonna go night and night. There you go. And the only one left should be the clicker. Now, if you don't have the aim locked on and you're moving the analog stick, even if the clicker is sleeping, the clicker can still hear you. So, you're going to want to have to use this aim aim trick right here. The slow aim crouch walk. I don't know what to call it, really. And I'm just going to throw the bottle at him and bash his head in since he's the last one left. All right, come on down. Press, Joel. Let's just get out of here. All right, so now that all that's out of the way, just use like the aim slow trick. I, I guess that's what I'm going to call it. The slam, uh, aim slow trick. There we go, or slow aim trick, rather. I don't know. You leave a comment down in the section below. What do you think the trick should be called? Um, so, I figured this The Last of Us would be a good, uh, good place to talk about uh, my thoughts on uh, certain things. Like, um, I watched all of season five of Game of Thrones, and. To be completely honest with you guys, I'm going to give you my thoughts on the show. I'm going to tell go. you guys what you should do, right, what you should not do, and one thing, and the only thing that I like about the show. Uh, with that being said, you guys already know that since it's the only thing I like about the show, it's the theme music. That's it. That's the only thing I like about the show. My thoughts on the whole show... I think it's pure garbage. 
I've never read any of the books, so that's why I'm I'm solely judgment marrying. I can't. All right. I can't pronounce that word. Solely judge. Whoa. Judging. Ju uh, solely judging, meritedly. Yeah, let's get to it. I guess I said that right. On just Thank the show back. alone, because. I think the show's just pure garbage. Like, there's no... Like, I, whenever I first started watching it, I thought it was going to be like a, a, a TV series where good versus evil and good triumphs. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. Evil kills a lot of good in the show. It just... Um, it's pure... It's purely garbage. Um... Uh, what you should not do is move out of my way, Ellie. What you should not do is if you're just now, like if you're wanting to watch the show, right, and you want to see for yourself, let Joel take a shower. It, what you should not do is you should not like or fall in love with any character on this show. Like you should not have you should not have a favorite at all. Because eventually they will die. It may not be in the next episode. It may not be in the next season. But at some point down the line, they will eventually die, and you will be short, surely disappointed in the outcome. And every character that I have uh, liked and favorited and loved in that show it is almost all dead every last one of them or Please something leave. tragic has uh, very Guys happened to them well in so and that brings me up to my next point what you should do if you're just now watching the show right or you're wanting to watch it and you're just just now starting out any point any time that you're watching the show and you get like this eerie gut feeling like oh there's no way that they're going to do that not to that person not to that character no there's no way that they're going to do that what you should do is go to Vegas and bet it all on red because you're if if your gut feeling is telling you that's what might happen and you're saying oh no way yes way that's exactly what's going to happen in the show that's exactly what's going to happen to that character. No matter what, you stay right on his heels. You stay sharp. Even if you meet a character that you like, and and your gut feelings telling you that person's going to end up dying in the end, you better believe they're going to end up dying in the end, because it's it's just ugh. I don't. I don't even. I don't, I don't even know what to say about it. It's just disappointing. Uh, and I'm not gonna. And, and I'm not gonna watch the show. Uh, I'm not gonna stop watching the show. Sorry, because I've done invested too much of my time into it. I'm, I've already completed like five seasons of it, so I'm gonna stick it out through the end and see how it ends. But. I just don't see any good thing, any more good things happening in the show anymore. Like nothing at all. So I mean, I'm like, what's the point, really? So that's my entire thoughts on uh, Game of Thrones. So the theme music's good though. I like that much about it. So yeah. So here, what you're going to want to do is. Uh, I I keep your I I would keep your shivs. I would keep them. And Ellie, what are you doing? You're gonna want to have to throw a bottle somewhere where Ellie. Come on, girl. Throw your bottle where they're all gonna be running to it. And as soon as they all get there, just like, throw a single molly. Even if it's even if, even though that they're burning right, there's still flames on the floor. 
And any and since the Molly made a lot of noise when it hit the ground, they're all gonna be running to it. They're all gonna be running to the flame. So and as soon as they step into that that fiery floor, they're gonna catch on fire as well. So just hang back, see how many are left alive. Looks like one. There should be maybe a few of them left. Uh, there's not as many as there was before. I think I killed three or four during that during that little uh, uh, brilliance I've got there. So with the with this runner here, I'm gonna be able to choke choke her out. So choke it out. It's not a her anymore. It's more of an it. And you're just gonna wanna have to, you know, do the little slow aim trick and just kinda. And voila! There you go. There's another runner up there ahead of me. Just, you know, I'm gonna see what's in this room here first. Um. Yeah, no, but to be honest with you, there's there's really not really all too many shows out there now that I, I look forward to watching. Maybe maybe The Flash, maybe Arrow, um, Agent Carter, um, The Walking Dead. I don't know, not, not really a whole lot of shows that I'm looking forward to. Um, oh, there's that one uh, new show. Um, uh, I don't forgot what it was called. Future and Foundation or something like that. I think it is. Um, but it's kind of like a, a mini, mini TV series of like the Justice League. They're going to have like Hot Girl, White Canary, uh... They're gonna have the arrow and flash uh, on a, on a, on some occasions. They're gonna have Captain Cold be a part of it, and um, who else? Um, uh, I don't forgot who the guy's name is who invented time travel in the DC universe, but uh, yeah, he's. But yeah, he's gonna be interesting. Um, and the whole main villain, the whole main villain is going to be uh, um, uh, Vincent uh, Vincent Savage, Vince Savage. I know it's Savage. Uh, I forget. I keep forgetting his first name. Uh, but yeah, he's gonna be the main villain, and I'm just holy crap! I cannot believe that they're going with him as the villain because he's just—he's he gets underused a lot. Like, you would think that they would use him a lot in, like, terms of movies, uh, animated movie shows and, and things like that, but no, they don't. I mean, um, but Savage is one of the most scary, powerful villains in the DC Universe, and he's just, uh, I'm, I'm surprised that they're using him, and I'm happy that they're going to end up using him in the... In the TV series, he's gonna be interesting. Oh, and they're gonna use uh, Adam too. They're gonna bring back uh, Brandon Ralph's uh, character, uh, the Adam, and put him in the TV series as well. So that'll be interesting to see. I'm very much looking forward to that show. And I had like this really, really great idea, right? Like. Since, you know, he was like the last clicker, just might as well smash his head in. 
So I had like this really, really great idea. Since Gotham was a gigantic bust, or just a, a gigantic waste of time, like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spend my time and watch the second season because it just it was garbage. Like the entire like Gotham was a garbage of a show. If you like, in terms of like Batman mythos and and, and backstories of of all his villains and everything, they they got a lot of them wrong. Uh, okay. Some of them had very yes. bad continuity That's errors. Uh, you guys are pretty good at this stuff. It's cold. And, and it felt like like they it wasn't. It felt like that they were making them out to be like Jim Gordon's villains instead of Batman's. So it going, just it didn't feel like. If you liked it for it being a cops and and detective uh, a detective show, then yeah, it was okay, but. For a, for a Batman, like, Gotham Universe TV show? No. No. No, it, it, was, it wasn't good at all. Uh, I'm sorry. But that show did give me a good idea. What if... Just what if... Um, they did a show based around Bruce Wayne. Not Batman, but Bruce Wayne. Like, the time when he... They could do, like, the whole origin thing again where his parents got killed, obviously, because they have to show that in, like, every movie and TV show that he appears in. Um, just right up to the point wherever he leaves Gotham, right? He leaves Gotham, and he decides to travel all around the world to learn every single uh, martial art, every single fight style, every single technique. I mean, he learns a different language. He, I mean, his experience of traveling all around the world to learn all, all various of moves and 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 fight styles and techniques and and everything like that. I think that would be an amazing story to tell on 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 TV series. Um, he did uh, in the comic books. I think uh, he did it for seven years, and it was. Um, so, I mean, they could do that. Um, they can base his entire, like, past travel experience on on uh, becoming the Batman and how he got uh, to that point. Kind of like a um, Smallville thing where Smar um, uh, Smallville um, had, like, Clark Kent growing up in high school and, and trying to... Uh, learn his powers and trying to learn how to control them and and um, facing all these different obstacles and things like that. And I think they could have done that with like Bruce Wayne uh, throughout his years traveling around the world, trying to learn discipline and and and, and, f and learning how to fight all these different techniques and learning different languages and 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 mythos and 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 history behind it all and. And becoming the world's greatest detective that he uh, okay. is known for today, I think that would made for a lot more better, entertaining, and interesting TV show than in the show Gotham. But that's just my opinion. So. And. I mean, if I said anything about. Uh, Speaking of opinions, if I said anything about like Game of Thrones that you guys are mad at me about, I'm sorry. Uh, it's just it's my opinion. It, my opinion does not aff uh, if if you guys are mad about what I think about the show Gotham, I'm sorry. It's just it's it's just that it's my opinion. It's the way that I think about the show, and the best part is, is that my opinion does not affect or change your opinion about the show and how you feel about it in any way. So, I mean, how you feel and how you uh, think about that show, if you love it, that's fine. My opinion does not change uh, your feelings for it. So, just, you know, keep that in mind. I, I'm just... I'm I'm just wanting to get a lot off my mind and a lot off my chest about how I feel about certain things and I figured doing a walkthrough on video games and and if I'm gonna have to do commentary then I'm gonna want to talk about what I want to talk about so uh, that's how I feel about it.
so again I'm sorry guys if, if I said anything bad about the shows that you like it's just my opinion on them and look at that that's a that's a beautiful vase oh look at that that's probably 17th century Ellie Ellie you're in charge of guarding that vase don't let anything bad happen to it okay all right Ellie, come on! Sorry, that was me. Tess. Sorry. God, Ellie. Did you see those boxes? Holy crap! God. She's supposed to be the cure for. Uh, we're supposed to trust her with the cure of mankind, and yet we can't trust her with a 17th century boss. That's just. That's sad. I don't know if that was 17th century. I'm just making stuff up. I don't know what the point of that was. Want to see if that room there led to anything, but I guess not. Um, if you guys are having a hard time hearing me and in, in uh, uh, during my commentary, I apologize for that. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the mic. It's just sometimes it if it if it if it goes real quiet, I apologize. I don't know what's going on with it. And here you're gonna see like a bad transition, I think. Yeah, mm. I th I thought I was gonna have to like cut the video there, but no, I, I thought might as well, might as well just keep it going. Just might as well, you know. I I can I can finish out the rest of this part. I'm alive. I'll I'll make my way around. Look, they're here. Tess, run, run. So what's going on here? Is again, you're gonna have to do that little uh, slow aim trick Tess. where you uh, aim a bottle or brick and you're gonna have to like crouch walk. You're definitely gonna have to need a shiv at certain at a certain point here. So um, get ready to have maybe a Molotov ready if you if you can't uh, if you get overwhelmed or something like that. So here we go. I should have monitored. I should have monitored the clicker's movements. Oh crap! I should have monitored the clicker clicker's movements. And there goes the clicker. There we go. Okay. Hopefully that clicker won't come back. So here we go. Slowly going through the room. Going down the hallway into the cafeteria area. And I think we're good now. I think Tess. we're safe. So I don't think uh Tess. I don't think that there's any reason I need to be doing this in, in this room. So Yeah. Uh you're gonna wanna have to check every drawer, every cabinet, and uh see what's inside them, so I mean, you do not want to miss uh, a single crafting item. I don't care how big or small. And here's a, a shift door, which is very important because it's going to have quite a bit of stuff in it. Uh, I think uh, supplements, parts, maybe some uh, ammo. So, yeah. Uh, crafting item. I'm sorry if I'm yawning. I'm very tired, guys. I apologize. Uh, and we're going to make a molly. And kind of want that shiv master. That way I can stab clickers in the face if they try to attack me. So here we go. Uh, I believe that 
Yeah, that clicker right there. I think we're going to have to use a shiv on it to get past it. Otherwise, it's going to be very difficult, and you probably will get heard if you don't kill it. So, I just... For all safety, tents and purposes, you're going to want to have to maybe kill it. I mean, if you want to take a big risk, you can try and try and walk around it and, and open the door that way, but I don't want to take any uh, big risk or chances. I, I kind of want to kill it. And there's a clicker behind me, too. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. And I mean, I can open the door if I want, but then that clicker would probably hear me. So I'm going to wait till it gets up close and I'm going to kill it. There we go. Good job. So, here we go. Now, if you have played the game before or seen any variations of the walkthrough, then you know what's going to happen next. Spoiler alert, if you haven't. Um, Tess ends up getting bit and she gets infected. I think the part coming up right after I take out this uh, uh, this in, uh, affected right here, as soon as I take him out, uh, this part right here. Yeah, I believe that's 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 where she got bit at. That's just that's that's where I think it happened anyway. And I thought about going up with like guns and. You know, guns blazing and, and shooting all these guys, but I mean, you can take them all out by punching them by melee. I mean, they're just runners. So, I mean, I, I, I'm extremely low on health, but I'm going to show you guys that it can be done. So, just kind of deviate and. I'm not going to lie, guys. There was a time where I thought I was going to like die during this whole thing. There we go. Uh, yeah, there we go. That's about it. Whew. Ah, look at Joel, man. Tess, how are you holding up? Just a bit winded. Look this way. This will get us to the roof. How about you, kid? Are you okay? It's a fine okay. Are you still breathing? Do small panicked breaths count? Yeah, they count. Right. Then I'm okay. <laughs> okay. Well, that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you guys liked the video, please leave a like down below. Leave a comment in the section about any of the topics that I discussed today. And if you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe. I would very much love the support. If you're already subscribed, Please spread the word about this channel. Let's get that word of mouth going and, and try and help this channel grow even bigger. Uh, with that out of the way, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video.